Guys, what's up? It's Zeronix GFX here, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to get smooth Twixter in um, After Effects. So, you're going to start off by, you know, importing your clip and then uh, dragging it into a new composition. Now, first of all, I just want to say that it's best to have a higher frame rate in your clips. So, uh, you know, like the higher the frame rate, the smoother your Twixter is going to look. And um, the reason for that is because Twixter warps the frames. Um, so the more frames it can warp, the smoother it's going to look because there's no, there's not as much space between each frame. So it can, uh, it can make it really, really slow. So anyway, once you get your clip into your new composition, you're going to find, um, <clears throat> where, where you basically want to Twixter. And, um, the best spot I would say for this is when, either when you're zooming out, well not you, but the person in the clip is zooming out or when they're like reloading or in the middle of them switching weapons um, after like a trick shot so what I'm gonna do is around right here pretty much all right and you're gonna go ahead and split your clip so control shift D and I'm gonna use Twixter Pro Twixter or Twixter Pro it doesn't really matter there's not much of a difference now, my frame rate is 59.94 frames per second, so you're going to go ahead and input the frame rate of your clip. If you do something different, it will not make it smooth, it'll be choppy, and it'll stop at every frame, and it just doesn't look good. So make sure you input the correct frame rate. Um, now, you can use Image Prep Contrast Edge Enhance. I don't know if it really matters that much, so I'm not going to use it. And then, f where it says Warping, you're going to change that to Inverse with Smart Blend. And what that does is uh, sometimes when you're twixtering, it warps and it creates black lines up here or like black space. And basically, the smart blend keeps it from doing that. So uh, that's that's pretty nice. Go ahead and zoom in on your clip right here. That's what I'm going to do. All right, now I'm going to keyframe the speed at 100. Let's say I put it to 125. Basically, it's going to start at 125% of uh, the clip. So you want to keep it at 100 uh, so it stays at the original clip spot. Now I'm just going to move forward like, ah, uh, I don't know why it did that. It's alright though. So I'm going to go forward like one, two, three, four, f 10 frames. Alright, and I'm going to bring this, my speed down to 0 0.5. Now this is going to create a really still look, so it's going to look like there's, it's, there's not going to be very much movement going on at all as you can see already so um, I'm gonna give this a quick RAM preview so you can kinda see what's going on alright so you can already see that even in this preview there's little to no warping around the gun at all so we'll give this a quick look so you can see that the gun is moving very smoothly um, as it zooms out now this is because I picked a spot where there's not much movement actually going on. The only movement going on in the clip is the gun zooming out. And so, as the frames are very similar, it doesn't need much, um, it doesn't have to change the pixels very often. So the, um, the clip or the Twixter looks very smooth. Now, um, I also like to change this value to 2, um, because you can still see the movement of the gun, so you can still see it's moving. Um, and also, again, there's little to no warping in this particular spot. So you can see not much warping happening at all. Um, so that's very helpful. Now, I would say a good spot to do this, to, um, as I said before, is when someone's zooming out, um, where there's very similar frames, the frames aren't changing very much. Because you can see, the Twixter doesn't have to change the frames out here in the background because they're all staying in the same spot, or relatively in the same spot. So it doesn't have to do anything with that. It's only the gun it has to mess with, and since there's less for it to, um, to warp, it looks very, very, like, a lot smoother. Um, also, I would recommend if, if you have, like, an intervention trick shot, or even any gun trick shot, um, to do it while either switching weapons or if they're reloading... Uh, because there's, again, like I said before, there's not much happening in the clip. It's just that the gun's moving. So um, that's also another good way or another good spot to use uh, Twixter. And you will get very smooth Twixter. So if you're using this in your edits, 
um, or anything like that, uh, it, it, it'll make your edits look a lot better, trust me. So, um, that's it for today, guys. Uh, I wish everybody Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, and uh, Happy New Year. So, I'll see you guys in my next video. Alright, thanks, guys. Bye.